Hello everyone, welcome back to Exotic Gastrology again. Nice to see you. The other day I had seen a comment in one of my videos. Somebody said that I hate Saturn. <laughs> so then I thought it's high time that I make this video now. I wanted to make this earlier but now it's high time. So many misconceptions about malefic planets. Alright, so this video is on why to love the malefic planets especially saturn rahu ketu these three are the worst of the worst of the worst considered malefics okay so we will see why they are called malefics and why should we stop hating them and not only why should we stop hating them but why should we start loving these planets all right so if you're new to the channel and if you have not yet subscribed then please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation then please approach me through my website. The link is hopefully there in the description below. And if you like this video, click the thumbs up and share it with somebody who also keeps telling you, I hate Saturn, I hate Rahu, I hate Ketu, I hate Sun, I hate Mars. <laughs> there are people hating Jupiter, Venus and Mercury Moon also. And before I begin, as I always say, God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him and he will tell you how to love these planets now what actually is going on the planets are just a reflection of who we are should we repeat the planets are simply a reflection of who we are they are not giving us anything which we don't deserve they only give which we are supposed to get they only give us what we are actually and that's why the proverb goes you don't attract what you want you attract who you are should i repeat you don't attract what you want you attract who you are which means that when the time period of a particular planet comes which is known as dasha in astrology about which i have not yet discussed i will very soon discuss on dasha but suppose the dasha of saturn is running and then you feel that oh things are not going great that means there is a problem in your saturn yes otherwise it would be great and yes before i start going into depth of this video i would like to give a warning that this video is going to be very 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 heavy all right so again if you don't like to hear uh, strong things if you only like to hear sweet things if you are not interested in improving your situation you are only interested in gossiping and criticizing and insulting other astrologers or insulting the planets then this video is not for you i'm sure you are going to hate me also after seeing this video but if you want to improve yourself if you want to improve the so-called situation of your so-called planets then this video is for you okay you will immensely benefit from this so now what happens is many a times we blame the planets that that planet is troubling us i hate saturn everybody hates saturn right but the thing is, why do we hate these planets? Yes, sometimes all of us hate. <laughs> why? Have you ever asked this question? The answer is very simple. The answer is because these are the only planets which show us our weakness. Should I repeat? No, no. <laughs> these are the only planets which will show us the places where we are lacking. And that is why when the time period of these planets come life becomes like a roller coaster sometimes why does everybody have problem during the mahadasha or the antardasha or the pratyantardasha of saturn or rahu or ketu or why are people so much fearful about things like sade sati we all know what sade sati is yes when in transit saturn is in 12th or above or in the second house from the moon i will make videos on sade sati very soon but here I just wanted to mention that why does everybody fear these things because when these things come in our life astrologically when these things start happening our weaknesses start getting exposed let's take the example of sade sati there's a lot of fear mongering in the astrological community from the side of fake pseudo astrologers who just want money by uh, by making by making people fearful of things so that they can sell their remedies and they can sell their stuff and then they say oh your saturn sade sati has started your life will become hell now 
एक्चुअली वॉट हैपन्स इन साढ़े साथी और वेन यू आर इन द साउ ऑफ सैटन यू आर फोर्स टू वर्क टू लिव इन दिस वर्ल्ड दैट इज ऑल दैट हैपन्स एंड वेन यू डो नॉट हैव अ गोल डिरेक्शन एम पर्पज इन लाइफ यू कैंट वर्क नाउ यू सी दैट्स वॉट हैपन्स पीपल से ओ माई लाइफ हेज बिकम वेरी डिफिकल्ट इन सैटन महादशा वाई डू दे से दैट बिकॉज दे वे आर नॉट सीरियस अबाउट लाइफ सो वेन सैटन महादशा स्टार्टेड दैट प्लैनेट शोड यू दैट लुक माई डियर सर यू आर नॉट सीरियस सो नाउ इज द टाइम दैट यू बिकम सीरियस नाउ इज द टाइम दैट यू स्टार्ट डेवलपिंग अ पर्पज नाउ इज द टाइम दैट यू बिकम डिसिप्लिन इन लाइफ that is what saturn is asking you nothing else he is asking just one thing if you cultivate during the sade sati or the mahadasha of saturn or antadasha also or any major transit if saturn is transiting over your ascendant also that is discipline and you work consistently if you are having a youtube channel upload videos consistently that can be once in a day twice in a day once in a week or once in a month whatever it is make sure you do it consistently without fail if you are a student then study <laughs> instead of googling things in youtube and facebook just go and study if you are married then be faithful to your partner if you are just hovering around in a relationship just because you don't like to be single yes the biggest curse in life <laughs> being single yes the other day somebody uh, i saw uh, a lady one of my friends she was sharing a photo in facebook i was amazed when i saw that photo i was seeing that how the materialistic society has systematically destroyed our generation so uh, in that photo it was shown that if uh, it was shown something like that it's better to die than to have an arranged marriage yes if you don't have love marriage there's no need to marry it's such a waste of time because arranged marriages don't work arranged marriage is simply a nonsense yes it doesn't work nothing works only love marriages work you see so it's better that you commit suicide or you don't get married but don't go towards love marriage uh, towards arranged marriage so if you are just hovering around from one person to the other from today you are with this boy tomorrow you are with that girl yes just for the sake of being in a relationship then when saturn's time comes your relationship will be tested the chastity will be tested and then what will happen is you will be forced to make a decision because now saturn is telling you look <laughs> you are not taking this seriously now you got to make a decision you want to stay in this relationship or you don't want to stay if you are in a terrible relationship during the mahadasha of saturn or sade sati time your partner will draw limitation should i repeat your partner will draw the line or you will be forced to draw the line and then you are to decide should i stay on the right or should i stay on the left but if that time period would not come in your life you would still be in the air <laughs> yes so saturn says that don't be in the air stay in the ground because the more you stay in the air the more you get hurt when you fall down suppose you fall down from first floor you may not necessarily die you may bleed your hand may break your leg may break your back may break something very serious can happen but it can also happen that you are not yet dead you are still living but suppose you go to 10th floor and from there you fall oh my god there's no chance you're dead <laughs> so saturn simply is telling you that be realistic know your boundaries know your limitations if you want to become a chef then become a chef if you want to become a youtuber then become if you want to become a it professional become don't do 10 things at a time it will not work so when when saturn's mahadasha comes or sade sati comes everybody tells me that oh this is not working that is not working yes because it is not supposed to work that is why it is not working if if you are fired from a job during the sade sati period or the mahadasha of saturn take it in writing from me you are not supposed to do that job you are very bad at it should i repeat you are not supposed to do that 
come to your level if you are not good at doing something during the time period of malefics you will be thrown out of that because the malefics are telling you look you are showing to the world oh i am working in this mnc but internally you are not happy then maybe you go and start your own business now i am not saying that everybody should start business that's not the point here the point is do what you are good at and do it consistently do it seriously with all commitment with all obedience with all humility sometimes when these time periods of malefics come then we may we may be insulted sometimes yes we may feel that oh i th- i used to think i am very great but now look people came to know who i am that means what is happening is saturn is telling you that look do not stay in the clouds don't think you are like a big balloon because if you think i will i will <laughs> i will take a pin and i will pluck it and then bah, the balloon blasts and then what happens everybody comes to know about you right scandals controversies similarly take the example of rahu rahu what rahu is basically if you want to summarize rahu in one line rahu is very simple rahu is telling you that look these are the reasons why you had to take another birth you could not go back to the spiritual world yad gatva na nivartante tadhama paramam mama this is what lord krishna says that whatever uh, state of being one remembers at the time of death that state he shall remember without fail anta kale chamame va smaran muktva kale varam that is the shloka and the previous shloka which i said that meant that oh my dear son of kunti yad gatva na nivartante tad dhama paramamama once who reaches to my abode does not return back to this material world once it for all he is done so when we are obsessed with materialistic desire oh i want this i want this girl i want this boy i want this money i want that i want him i want her yes i want a rolls royce what will happen if you go in a bentley oh my god bentley is so bad <laughs> i will only take a rolls royce if at all i will take a car right the other day i was seeing a news uh, i mean of course i don't watch all this useless stuff but somewhere in my youtube page there was a recommendation uh, i don't know the name of the actress i forgot she's from my own community long back she committed suicide i don't know the name i mean i could not see the name but i i just saw in that video now in that video when i went and saw that asmi's actress her friends told to the interviewers to this journalist that oh yeah she was having you know some kind of depression she was she was thinking actually she wants to do this she wants to do that actually what happened was she wanted to do something big <laughs> yes because she was in clouds i will do something great now it's great to do something good it's fantastic but that doesn't mean it will happen overnight you got to be patient and when you don't have that patience you cannot deal with the inferiority complex which you suffer and then you go and commit suicide yes that's that is what is happening that is your weakness your weakness is you do not have patience that is why you go and commit suicide who commits suicide one person who is totally convinced that god doesn't exist and even if i try i cannot change anything only that person will commit suicide of course there can be other reasons also but fundamentally the person is going on comparing his or her lifestyle with other people and that is what rahu signifies wherever rahu is sitting whatever rahu is doing whichever houses rahu is taking under control <laughs> whichever planets rahu is conjunct whichever planets rahu is aspecting those are the obsessions which forced us to take another birth in this material world otherwise we would have gone back to the spiritual world we would have atti- attained moksha liberation but that didn't happen so when rahu's time period comes those things become very lively yes that is why you see people getting into drugs gambling addiction prostitution pornography masturbation getting into multiple parallel relationships why because these were the things they always wanted to do <laughs> and then what happens you suffer right because when you go beyond the 
uh, when you cross the lux lakshman rekha as they say yes suppose you are married then you are supposed to stay with that one person lifelong that's the uh, thing which scriptures recommend now somebody will write in the comments oh if you are not happy you should not stay in the marriage you can write whatever you want but intelligent people will understand what i am saying and then if you are studying suppose yes then instead of studying you are going in parties yes you are going on watching series in youtube you are going on watching films you are going on partying every night you are going out with a different member of the opposite sex it keeps happening here all the time i keep seeing here in germany it's the same in india also in the cities i know my friends they keep telling me oh today i went out with this girl and so many girls i know they are going on random dates with different men every day oh yes i know them <laughs> they think they that nobody knows but i know that they are doing all this the men and women <laughs> so see what's happening is when we are doing all this nonsense stuff then we tell that oh rahu is tormenting us no rahu is not doing anything rahu is just showing you look these are the things which are pulling you down always these are the reasons why you are not happy because these are the reasons which are giving you conviction that i can still be happy in this world in this material realm but that cannot happen because lord krishna in the bhagavad gita says dukhalayam ashashvatam that this world is a place of misery yes and that is why the goal of spirituality of all the scriptures all the divine knowledge is that we try to cultivate spiritual wisdom and return back to god we cultivate our divinity the inner substance inside us we develop good qualities as in the shrimad bhagavatam it is said yasyasti bhaktir bhagavati akinchana sarvai gunais tatra samasate sura harav bhaktasya kuto mahat gunan manorathe nasati dhavato bahi that shloka is there yasyasti bhaktir bhagavati akinchana means one who follows spiritual life very diligently very seriously sarvai gunais tatra samasate suraha all the beautiful qualities of the demigods of the devatas manifest in him harav abhaktasya kuto mahat guna harav abhaktasya means one who is not a follower of lord vishnu kuto mahat guna what good qualities does he have manorathe na sati dhavato bahi today he is going in the manoratha chariot of the mind oh today i like this girl tomorrow i like that girl yes today she is looking beautiful tomorrow he is looking handsome tomorrow he is getting married tomorrow maybe i also get married yes tomorrow i am in apple tomorrow i am in facebook so these the manoratha is like the mind is going from here to there it's like a chariot so that's what is happening so that's what rahu is telling you that look these are the reasons which are hindering you from your happiness because anybody who breaks the regulative principles the four regulative principles about which i have spoken in the video for the eighth house solutions to planets in the eighth house please go and watch that video that video will tell you why you are not happy because i will not tell go and see that video <laughs> because it will take long time here so whenever we commit sinful activities then we suffer yes because if you see the horoscope the kal purush kundli if you see from the 8th house which is the 6th house 8th house is the house of sin primarily and then 6th house is the 11th from the 8th house yes and then what happens what is 11th house 11th house is gain right so when you perform sinful activities you gain the 6th house which is what quarrel trouble disputes that's what happens so when we stop the 8th house the 6th house already stops and then 12th house is imprisonment jail that will also stop so we need to per- stop performing sinful activities and for that we need to stop associating with people who are themselves degraded who are pulling us to long activities yes going into parties going and dancing there uselessly shaking your body <laughs> yes and then going out with the opposite sex doing this doing that smoking yes drinking <laughs> fun partying in the night yes watching movies watching this watching that so then what happens is we do not do what we are supposed to do a person who is drinking 
or who is addicted to smoking or drugs or prostitution or pornography that person cannot be happy and that person cannot work also properly yes go and check his schedule zero discipline i am telling i know so many people their life has zero discipline zero maybe it's minus <laughs> and then when the time of saturn comes they are like oh saturn is a bad planet saturn is not a bad planet i have made a video the most beautiful planet if you have not watched it it's there in this playlist go and watch it the most beautiful planet you type beautiful in my channel you will get that video so there i have spoken about the greatness of saturn so basically to summarize and even ketu blunders of the past yes so the point is why we should start loving these maleficences because without them we will never be able to understand what our weaknesses are what is holding us back from going close to god we will never be able to understand them those those areas where we are lacking yes so whenever these planets their time period comes or the transit is very strong and we are facing problems in life then we should understand that we have to work in these areas many people tell me that during the rahu mahadasha or rahu santadasha they get cheated by others has it happened <laughs> write it down in the comments if it has happened or suppose rahu is transiting over your venus during any transit then you may be cheated by the opposite sex or your wife or somebody else why that happens because you have done it to somebody so now rahu is telling look this is your weakness you did this now get this you only get what you deserve <laughs> karma is like the restaurant you go and order anything whatever you want but the waiter will come and deliver look you ordered paneer butter masala but i have <laughs> i only have citric acid and water for you <laughs> because that's what you had ordered millions of times back so now this is what you get served so the remedy is very simple do good activities and then later on we can reap the benefits all right so we should stop hating these maleficences and try to cultivate good habits in our life try to improve our spiritual nature try to cultivate spiritual wisdom and by that the force of sin will reduce in our life and we will become more disciplined we will become more clear we will become more focused and we will stop doing nonsense we will stop visiting nonsensical places we will stop speaking nonsensical things and we will stop seeing nonsensical things yes because otherwise we will always be thinking oh why this saturn is troubling me no 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 planet is troubling you don't think like that they are simply showing you which are the areas you are lacking so whenever i am under some kind of a terrible mischief <laughs> as they call na mischief mischievous planets when these planets torment me they trouble me i always think that oh so these are the areas where i am lacking you see and by that i can understand which are the areas i have to grow because the other benefits they are not going to help you in any way they will just give things jupiter moon mercury venus oh you did this take take it take it take it take it <laughs> but these maleficences they will show you what wrong activities you have done your saturn is afflicting venus or the seventh house that means you have given suffering to the opposite sex in the previous lives accept that fact and in this life maintain humility keep your expectations low keep your expectations reasonable otherwise you will suffer <laughs> like so many are suffering these days yes the thing is that when we do wrong then we also get wrong now somebody will say oh i have not done any wrong to anybody in this life but why am i still suffering because we have done wrong in the previous lifetimes it never happens see nature, nature is always impartial it doesn't uh, punish anybody without any reason so if nature is punishing us we have to learn the lesson and i have so many videos on my channel regarding all these topics yes i have so many videos on in this playlist itself so you can go and watch all so many videos i have made ultimate purpose of all remedies that day i made a video father of all remedies mother of all remedies so these are the videos you can watch so lifestyle has to be improved otherwise 
we will keep complaining we will keep cribbing we will keep crying we will keep blaming this game is going on from hundreds and millions of billions of years everybody is just insulting saturn in insulting mars insulting rahu insulting ketu no we should not do that we may we may or may not improve or destroy the karma related to that planet if we insult that planet but the thing is it's not going to solve the problem you see you have to know what the planet wants for example when saturn's time is coming be very disciplined do mantras every day morning give donations be humble do your work properly do it sincerely don't speak lies saturn is the karaka for lies when rahu comes be very transparent in your dealings don't go here there <laughs> all right so then we will embra- embrace these planets then we will say i love you <laughs> otherwise the benefics are not going to do much great to us they will just give what we deserve yes in all the good things provided they are also not badly placed <laughs> okay so this is what i wanted to say that uh, why we should start loving the malefics instead of hating them they are just showing the areas where we need to improve and if they are not there then we will never know what to improve okay so stop hitting the malefics stop writing comments that saturn i hate saturn i hate rahu i hate ketu i mean you can still write it's your fundamental right maybe the constitution entitles you to that i'm not preventing you from writing the comments but let's try to bring a change in the astrological community by spreading the knowledge in this way otherwise so much hatred i've seen my god and you are still at the same place you see that's the problem you hate saturn or you love saturn you will still be at the same place unless you start doing what saturn wants all right so if you are new then please subscribe and if you want a consultation then please approach me through my website the link is there in the description below and share this video with somebody who is also hating saturn <laughs> all right so i hope this video has benefited you and it has inspired you to change your lifestyle and improve yourself and upgrade yourself in the spiritual journey which we are all undergoing now and we have been undergoing in the past and we will hopefully one day complete this journey and by the grace of god we will overcome all challenges grace doesn't mean that tomorrow morning you get up and oh everything disappears that's not the meaning of grace grace means that we do our best and we leave the rest on god so that is what i wanted to say why to uh, embrace these malefics and say i love you okay that is it from my side wish you good luck bye bye see you another time with another video